Welcome back to the vlog from a very nice looking London. There's me moaning about the weather yesterday. The sun is actually coming out today. Time check, it is half past six in the morning. I don't feel too tired actually, I feel okay. As you know, if you watched the last episode, I was all set to go for a run or do some, <clears throat> excuse me, do some sort of gym work yesterday when I checked into the hotel. Couldn't be bothered in the end because it was nine o'clock and I was starving. So I walked across London Bridge to Five Guys and had a Five Guys and walked back. And it was really nice. Everything about that was lovely because it was, it was just, a, it was a lovely evening. It was a, it's a lovely walk. If you do that walk across London Bridge, the, the views are stunning. Um, and yeah, it was, it was the right choice, put it that way. So today, uh, I can't tell you what I'm doing this afternoon because the thing that I'm doing, which is at the Gherkin, I can tell you where it is, uh, that doesn't matter, um, that happens at one o'clock today or half twelve, I think. Uh, so I've, I've got the morning, which is quite nice, uh, but I've got a lot of work to do. Um, and I do need to go to the gym. I absolutely need to go to the gym. So the, the plan this, mor this morning, firstly, is to make a coffee in this. Then, this is yesterday's vlog that's all been uploaded, that's all good, well, it's the footage from yesterday's vlog that you may have watched that's been uploaded for Niall to edit, um, so that's all done, but I do need to proofread the, the blog post that I wrote for today, and what else do I need to do? Uh, something else, which, <clears throat> excuse me, which I've completely forgotten. Um, oh, so completely gone. I need to edit a video, obviously. I need to edit the video that I shot yesterday. So again, if you watched the vlog yesterday, you know that I shot the A roll and, and some of the B roll for the BenQ, stu uh, BenQ uh, monitor video. I need to edit that because we need to send it to them for approval because it is, it's sponsored by them. So I need to do that today. And uh, yeah, anyway, <sighs> coffee. Yes, two milks. Sorry, American friends. I don't always have milk. I do. I do normally have milk with coffee. To be fair. Hotel room coffee never looks particularly appetite. Never looks particularly appetizing, does it? <laughs> Haven't got my mouth into gear yet. Anyway, look at this weather. I bet. Is spring on the way? Finally. Okay, that is the blog post proofread, well, proofread by me. It needs to be proofread now by someone else. <clears throat> My voice is going already. Um, <clears throat> this bodes well. <laughs> the Although I don't really need my voice today, apart from speaking to you guys, so I'll try and... I'll try and conserve it for that. Um, what was I talking about? The blog post uh, uh, is proofread by me, but please don't. If you if you write write blog posts, don't just rely on your proofreading. If you're doing this seriously, that the worst proofreader is yourself. So, I read it through just to make sure I'm happy with it, and then someone else does it for me before it goes live. Uh, but anyway, that is now in WordPress, ready to be proofed. And if you know my process, you know that this will turn into a video. So this is actually, well, it's about the iPad mini six, another iPad mini video, um, and that will be going live at the weekend. So I need to film this video on Friday. I've, I've just been wondering if I can do it in London, but I don't think I can. I don't think I've got the time for it. I, I think, I'm, and also I think I need to be in the studio. studio. I think there's a few things I need to hand to make this video. So. 
I'm going to have to do it on Friday because today is Wednesday. Thursday tomorrow, I'm still in London all day. Yeah, it's it's tricky. So um, yeah, that is the plan. But now, gym. There's some absolutely amazing views from this hotel. London Bridge and the Gherkin, which is where I'm going today for my little meeting. Very nice. Workout done. I promise I did it. I didn't film in there because it was tiny and there were loads of people in there and it looks weird filming yourself working out. Anyway, I can have a guilt-free breakfast now and then crack on with some work. Just doing a bit of video editing in the private lounge, which I have to myself. I've never done this before. I've never had a hotel room with access to this. Get free drinks as well, look. Amazing. I'm actually working through that shoot from yesterday, so that a roll from the review of the BenQ monitor. And if you remember, if you saw the last vlog, and in fact, if you've seen the last couple of vlogs, you'll know that I've had some real issues with shooting A roll. There's so much wasted time in this. There's so many retakes I've done on this that I didn't need to do. It's really annoying. It was f about 57 minutes of footage. I'm down, I'm down to 27 minutes now. So I've chopped out loads of rubbish, loads of me repeating myself and saying things twice when I didn't need to. It's a real eye-opener. I'm worrying so much about this and I don't need to. That was a really nice experience working there. Absolutely no idea how much it cost. <laughs> but it does make you think. Quite often, when, it, when I stay in London, we go for, you know, not cheap hotels, but we, don't, we try not to spend too much. Why isn't this lift working? We try not to spend too much on accommodation because it can be very expensive and it doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense to spend a fortune on the bed that you're sleeping in, which sounds weird, but I don't think it does. Um, but then you have this kind of experience where you get the treatment, if you like, with the, that room and it kind of makes sense. Because if I don't have a room like that in the hotel to work in, I tend to go to coffee shops. And the problem with going to coffee shops, as, as romantic as it sounds-ish, working in coffee shops, it's, it's a bit tricky because you do get to a stage where you've had one coffee, you might have had two coffees, but then you need to either buy another coffee. You can't just sit there all day, obviously. Whereas with something like that, where you haven't, we've paid for it, but you're not expected to keep buying things. I don't know, it, that just made sense to me. And now I'm thinking, is it worth finding some kind of WeWork thing, some kind of subscription thing that we can pay for for me to use when I'm in London? And then I think it's probably not worth that because I don't, although I do come here a lot for this business, I don't come here enough to warrant that kind of expense, I don't think. Um, the weather, by the way. It's still looking quite promising, although apparently it's going to start raining later, which is typical because that's when I'll be walking around trying to find my next hotel. And on that front, they've moved me because the hotel we had booked is having maintenance issues, whatever that means. So they've moved me to a different hotel and she was explaining to me on, on the um, the call that, it's, it's, I can't think what it's called, but it's, it's got a certain name, this hotel, a certain type of hotel that it is. And she said, even though it's on Piccadilly Circus, it's all based around, you know, we, we, we've built our rooms based on your circadian rhythm to help you get to sleep. So there's no, the, none of the bright lights that you get in Piccadilly Circus, there's no noise. Sounds, and it looks really interesting on booking.com. So we'll see what that's like later on. But now, uh, <laughs> what do I need to do? I need to gather all of this stuff. So this is the other thing. When you start doing a lot of stuff on the road, <laughs> involving cameras and things, you have loads of batteries. So obviously I've got the batteries for this camera that I'm holding, which is the uh, DJI Osmo Action 4. But also because I've brought, where is it? It's in the in the safe. Because I've brought the ZV-E1, which is the slightly bigger Sony camera, I've got a few batteries for that. So I've been charging that. I have, I don't think I'll need this, but I did, I did bring the, the DJI 
uh, mics or DJI mic, DJI mic as it's called. Um, I brought those because I don't know why I brought those. Probably don't need them. But anyway, I charged them just just in case. Then I have a battery pack that I've charged. Another one somewhere. Yeah, so it's been a case of charging things, offloading footage. Um, got loads of work done a moment ago, so I've edited that video. It's been sent to the sponsor for review before we publish it on Friday. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, I've now got just under an hour to get to the Gherkin, which is where this meeting is. Uh, so to do, so, so to be ready for that, I guess I need to, I need to get this camera ready and uh, then head out into the street. <laughs> head outside. If there's one thing I've learned about these sort of trips where, again, I can't, I can't tell you, annoyingly, I can't tell you what I'm, what I'm about to go and do, but I can tell you that there's going to be some filming involved. Um, I'll need to grab some B-roll of stuff, basically. So, having done quite a few of these now, I know that the, the trick to this lies in getting your camera ready, making sure that this camera is set up with all the settings that I'll, I'll, I think I'll need in that room just to start shooting because I, in the past when I was a bit more wet behind the ears with this sort of thing I'd turn up and, and the camera wouldn't be quite ready I wouldn't have the battery in there the memory card wasn't formatted I had the wrong ISO setting all sorts of stupid errors which means you spend more time fiddling around with this thing than actually f using it to film stuff um, and we don't have long today we only have about an hour according to the agenda in terms of grabbing footage yeah, so that isn't gonna. Yeah, so I, I need to be ready basically with this camera. So, stop it. Battery in, memory card in, format the memory card, make sure there's nothing important on it, obviously, and then make sure all the settings are ready to go. Simple. Okay, time to find the Gherkin. Not been there before. But it shouldn't be that difficult to find, bearing in mind it's just a massive building in London. Or I could just look at Google Maps, that'd be easier. Come with me. That didn't take long. Do you ever do that, where you, you use Google Maps and then you feel really stupid for using it because it's really obvious where you're going? I'll tell you what though, it does do a good job of hiding itself, it's just vanished. I don't know, there it is. That's what I love about cities like London, you get all these really modern buildings and then out of nowhere this kind of, well it's a, I assume it's a church. Love that. Anyway, here's the gherkin. Now I can't film what I'm doing in here unfortunately because it's all embargoed and I don't think you can film in there anyway so apologies. It's going to be a case of me walking in there and then cutting to whatever happens afterwards. I'll give you the lowdown as much as I can, so wish me luck. I am actually in the Gherkin. I can film here, there's no restrictions at all, but look at this view. And as you'd guess from the building, it is circular, so you can walk all the way around and just see this kind of view of London from every angle. Canary Wharf. Crazy. Really good meeting. It wasn't a meeting, but really good. Oh, there's London Bridge. I'll talk about this in a minute, but this is really cool. This is a very touristy vlog. I've just realised that, but that's no bad thing. I'm in the Gherkin lift. I don't know why I keep saying gherkin. It just sounds funny, doesn't it? I'm in a gherkin, and I'm in the lift in the gherkin. Something embarrassing always happens, doesn't it? I couldn't quite work out how to get out of the gherkin. 
turns out I had to scan this QR code, but I walked up to the barrier and it didn't open, and then I had to ask the security guard how to leave the building. Brilliant. So I can't really tell you who that was, but I might be able to, but I don't, it's a new partnership, a new partnership, it's a new relationship we have with this brand. I don't want to screw it up, so I won't screw it up by saying anything potentially wrong. But it was very good, it was a really good meeting. I will be able to talk about it soon, I promise. It's now raining, obviously, because I live in Britain. Um, time check, this wind is probably really annoying. It is quarter to three. And well, I've got about an hour and hour and 15 minutes now before I have a team meeting, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, so I need to find a coffee shop and go and do that. And then we'll pick up this blog, this blog, this vlog rather. I keep looking at the screen, sorry. I should know by now to look at the, at the, at the camera, at the lens, whatever. We'll pick this up later when I'm looking for my next hotel. Um, so, really interesting call with the team and loads of really interesting videos coming up including potentially me going camping it will all make sense at some stage um anyway back to the hotel now because i've left my suitcase there on purpose and then to the next hotel suitcase acquired now it's back to the tube and to piccadilly circus Decided to skip the rest of the tube because it's absolutely packed. So I'm now walking from em Embankment to Piccadilly Circus. And as always, Embankment is absolutely rammed. Doesn't look rammed on there. <laughs> Trust me, it's busy. Continuing the touristy theme of this vlog. So many noisy things on the road. Continuing the noisy the noise. <laughs> oh God. I thought about re-recording this, but I won't. I'll leave it in for prosperity. Um, continuing the touristy theme of this vlog. That was the National Gallery and Trafalgar Square. You're getting a right little tour, aren't you, in this one? I wish I could get across how absolutely useless this weather is. I think I've talked about this before on the vlog, but in the UK, we get nothing weather. Where it's just like, like now, it's again, it's April, it should be warmish. I've no idea what the temperature is, but it's not particularly warm. And there's this really annoying wind that you can probably hear that's just cool enough to make, make it a little bit chilly. And then the sky, look at it. Just, just nothing, literally nothing going on. I told you, I warned you rather, I talk about the weather a lot on this vlog. Another five guys, I'm not going there tonight, I promise. I'm not, I'm not. My hotel is up here somewhere. Doesn't feel like there's gonna be a hotel up here, but apparently, I think this might be it. It's a bit different to, to yesterday's hotel. Uh, where, oh, okay, where's the entrance? Okay, right, found it. Said well, this is it. actually quite nice inside. I was a little bit worried. Checked in and I'm intrigued by this place. It doesn't feel like a hotel. Where on earth am I going? Ah. Bedrooms. Here we go. I'm intrigued. <laughs> it 
So, you know when you get a, a hotel room key card thing, it says your room is whatever number. This says your cocoon number. My cocoon. Okay, this is my cocoon. So, let's open it up. No, this isn't gonna work, is it? 130. 8 130. We're in. We're in. We are wow. <laughs> okay. This is a this is a cocoon. Let me put these lights on. I hope this is well, okay. Well it does look it looks like it looked on booking.com to be fair. So let's give you the room tour. This won't take long. The bed, which is literally in this kind of thing. I guess this is the cocoon, I guess. This is what it's all about. Um, bed, what's it like? Not bad, not bad. Would I make a travel vlogger? I'd love to know. Um, massive thing, way too big thing to put your suitcase on. And then, I guess this is the kind of reception area. And then we have the bathroom, which, to be fair, looks quite nice. It's nicely kitted out. Shower, some complimentary relaxing body wash, toilet, sink. It's very small in here. It probably, it probably doesn't look small on, on, this, on this camera, but okay. There's nowhere to do any work. Unless I sit on that or just on the bed, there's no desk. I don't know how much this costs because we didn't book this hotel originally, so, but, but this is right in the middle of Piccadilly Circus, right in the middle. It's very, very quiet though. You can't hear a thing, so that's good. Uh, and there's no windows. I've just realized that. There's not a single window anywhere, which I guess supports their claim of you not having your sleep interrupted by Piccadilly Circus because you can't see it. Uh, anyway. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sign off the vlog here, guys, because if you're still watching, as I always say, <sighs> you're amazing. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, give it a like, give it a subscribe. We were talking about this vlog on the meeting earlier. We have a, a weekly catch-up meeting, a video catch-up meeting, and we, we were looking at the stats for this channel. And they're looking really promising. So that's all down to you. It's not down to me walking around tiny hotel rooms. That, that's not the case. Um, this is really small. The more I look at it, it's very small. Anyway, um, it's a bed for the night. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, tell your mates. And well, I'll see you in the next vlog, which will, will it's, it's going to be tomorrow. I need to carry on this London thing, don't I? Anyway, cheers. See you then.